Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem get min at pop. So basically what we need to do is we need to design an algorithm which would help us to get the minimum of a star. Now what do we mean by this? So let us understand it better. So get min would be a method which would return the minimum element from the stack. So what would be the stack? The stack would be holding the elements that is already there. Okay. So let us move forward and have an example. Suppose we have minus two, three, minus one, one, zero. So up till now, if we run the get min at this position, it would return us with a minimum value of minus two itself. And then if we remove this minus two, if we pop out this minus two, okay. Removing is known as popping. Okay. So next we have three minus one, one zero. So if now we use the get min method, then it would return the minus one as the minimum element. So we would just have minus one at the minimum element at this point. Then we would simply pop out this three also. Okay. Then we have the minimum element. What is there? That is minus one, one zero. So minimum element out of all this is minus one itself. Okay. And then we would remove it also. Okay. Then we have the next min method as one or zero. So the minimum element would be zero. And next at this step, we would again remove this one. And now at the remaining step, zero is only left. So one element, it is the minimum itself. Okay. Fair enough. We have at this point. Now let us discuss the very first approach where there would be no preservation of the element. What do we mean by this? We mean by this that the original element or the element of the given array or the element that is given will not be stored, but only the required elements or the, we can say that useful elements that is for us would be stored. Okay. So how is this possible? Let me show you. So, so what we would do is we would start having an auxiliary stack itself. Okay. We would have an auxiliary stack and we would start filling up that element itself. So I would just show you this. Suppose this is the auxiliary one. Okay. So now this is the given array. So we would simply remove all of this and we would keep it like this. So now what we would do it, we would start iterating from the back because obviously the elements would be kept like this. So what we would do is up till now, the auxiliary has no element. So we would simply say, yes, this is the minimum element up till this point and we would return it. Okay. Then we will have one. So one, one is greater than the element, which is already there. So what we would do is we would keep the value zero only. Like the earlier value was zero. So earlier value was zero and the current value is one. So we know that if the minimum is asked at the point of one, we would simply return this zero. That is why we kept this zero. Next we move forward to minus one. So we have minus one and then we have zero. So minus one and zero negative one is smaller than that. So we would simply have negative one. So we would generally compare the current element with the last element. Last element would be the what? Last element would be the top element of the given stack itself. Then we have three. Okay. So let us see that also. So we have three. So yes, three and minus one, which is less minus one is still the less. So we would simply have that next we have minus two. So minus two, negative two, and then negative one, which is smaller. Negative two is smaller. So we have these all elements, okay, as the minimum at each step. Now let us see minus two, minus one, one, and zero, zero. Okay. So let us see for the whole array, it is minus two. Now let us remove the first element. Let us see for the whole, what is the minimum one? So we need to remove this also. Yeah. So now for the whole array that is remaining, what is the minimum element? Yes. Minus one is the minimum element. So now we would remove this three also. We would remove this one also. Now we would say, what is the remaining element of this one? So minus one is the smallest element. Yes. Minus one is the smallest element. So we would remove this also. Then we would, and we would remove 
this also then we would see what is the minimum element again zero is the minimum element now we would remove both from both of the side now zero is the minimum element so yes what we can do is if, if we are given an array of elements and we need to return the minimum at each step yes we can do that we can just store the minimum at each step by doing this process that if the stack is empty so if this so i would simply write it down so you can just take a screenshot of this so if stack is empty push current element push the current element so we would start iterating over the array so we would push the current element now if the stack is not empty if the stack is not empty so there are two conditions that either there would be the top element or the current element so we would simply say that if the stack is not empty then st dot push the minimum of them see the minimum of each we were pushing so instead of having that whatever is minimum then we would push whatever is smaller we would push that we would simply have minimum of the last element and the current element we would simply have that and this would store the minimum at each point but if you observe the original element we have lost it we are just storing out the minimum so if we if someone asks us that is what is the element at this position we won't be able to answer it unless we have it from the source where it is provided so we don't have that okay so let us talk about the time complexity of this approach also like for each element to insert it we are just comparing and we are inserting it so we are comparing and we are inserting it so this comparison takes big o of one an insertion okay that is push or pop operation in the stack is also big o of one and then if we are asked the top if we are asked the minimum we would simply return the top element and we would simply return the top element so accessing the top element is also big o of one in time complexity the time complexity of everything of each operation would be big o of one be it pushing be it popping or be it accessing the minimum or be it whatever so now what would be the space complexity the space complexity of this approach would be big o of n now let us move forward and start with the implementation of this thing so here we need to push all the elements in the stack and we are provided with the same stack again at this point okay so here it is written at this point you can read about it in this position okay so what we would do is we would start pushing the elements in the stack itself okay so we would simply initialize a stack of int and we would name it as ht itself and we have renamed it the array arr to a itself now what we would do is we would push the first element why because we know that the initially the stack is empty so we would simply push the first element e of 0 okay and then we would start iterating from the next element int i is less than n and i plus plus this saves us from having the condition that if the stack is empty we would simply push it else we would push the minimum of it so we don't know that we need that why because the stack would be empty only once we are not popping out element at this point so we can directly push it okay and then at this point we know that something is there so we don't we have something to compare okay so we, if we know that if we have something to compare what we would do is we would have simply the current element and then the minimum element that is last last inserted element on the stack which would be nothing but st dot top itself and then we would simply return the array okay now here we don't need to do much so what we would do is we would start telling us the minimum printing the minimum at each step with a with a space separated and we would keep popping elements okay so pop operation by default would directly pop the elements and won't return us anything so what we would do is we would first save the value of the top element and then we would pop it and then we would print it or either of them but saving the element before popping is very important this ordering is absolutely important so what we would do is while the stack is not empty okay while the stack is not empty you can simply say st dot empty equals to equals to false which returns to the same thing that is not empty it is just saving us some time 
okay so we would first save the value okay so int x is equals to st dot top now it's your take that you either pop out the element first or you print out the element first so let us first print out the element okay it is your personal preference only saving the value before popping is absolute this ordering is absolutely important then what we would do is st dot pop itself we would simply pop this and our work is done now let us just compile and run and see okay seems like we made a mistake okay we we forgot to rename it to st itself yeah fair enough now let us see where are we making mistakes and we are forgetting this st dot top yeah that is why make sure this as a habit to compile and run before submitting so that your points won't get deducted yes now it is coming correct for the sample uh, sample test cases now let us submit this for the real ones yes we have successfully solved it now this is the intended space and the time complexity that is being asked so now let us see so now let us see some more ways we can solve this problem now suppose the interviewer has told us to preserve the element also to get the minimum also and to preserve the original element that is given so what we can do is we can start inserting in terms of pairs like what we would do is we have the minimum element column here like we have the minimum element column here like whatever we are building the stack okay this is the auxiliary stack so what we basically need we need one more stack so we need the idea is to have one more stack so that we can preserve the element at each point yes this is true so what we can do is instead of having one more stack we can have it in forms of pairs where the first element would represent the element itself the next element would represent the minimum element at each point and that would solve our purpose and the time complexity remains the same the only thing is that it is big o of 2n okay so now let us move forward and let us try to solve this in big o of n so if we want to solve this in big o of n with better space complexity we would be using variable okay we would be using variable we would have that variable we would multiply it with with some value and before taking out we would be multiplying with some value as this is out of the scope of this syllabus and we are here just here to have the approximate idea of the algorithms which are out of the asked space and the given time complexity that is why we won't be going in depth of this as, as well as this is an easy problem so we won't be going in this direction if we go in this direction this would be a medium or a hard level problem this preservation of element z1 only but this preservation of element with better time complexity and using a variable would turn out to be a medium or a hard level problem okay so that's it for today thank you and have a nice day